Dr. Erica the Fit Fasten Doctor and I'm back at it again with another OMAD vlog. Today is Tuesday, October the 3rd. Y'all, today is day 1178. 1178. Thank you so much for continuing to follow me on my journey and then I can continue to help, encourage, and motivate you while you're on yours. So today will be amazing. Click the like button right now if you are ready to go have an amazing day because I know I am. So listen, um, let me say sleep score, very good this morning. It was an 87. But when I woke up this morning, I was wondering, I said, now I wonder, um, do they ever um, think about why does she continue to get on here and say today will be amazing? Like, where did all this come from? So, yeah, I already know I got a story for you. I'm going to tell you. So, many years ago, that is something that I started um, putting out on social media. It's been like six or seven years. I have to look back on my memories. So, um, I would post today will be amazing, just like with an encouraging word or with a scripture or um, a positive affirmation. And just like uh, with all the other things, you know, that I've been doing on this journey, it's one of those things that just has become a thing. It, it, it just kind of stuck. So not only was I putting that out there for me, but I quickly realized that it was others out there who really needed that. And I've been doing it every single day because today will be amazing. I wake up every single morning y'all and i read my devotions i set my intentions for um the day so i have an amazing day on purpose i make my days amazing and you can too so i think sometimes you know we can focus on the things that are not so good um we can choose to complain about the things that are not going our way but I like to move about my day with gratitude in my heart. I am so thankful and grateful um, for the many blessings, okay? I am thankful to have, um, to wake up this morning. I am so happy that I am able to move my body. I am so grateful to have a beautiful roof on my head and a car to drive. Just. Just all those basic things because I realize, you know, it's some um, people out there who don't even have those basic things. So when you focus on the good, when you focus on the beautiful things in life, you know what? You begin to see more beautiful things and you begin to um, receive more blessings. So it's easy for us to complain and focus on the things that are maybe considered not so good. But I choose to move about my day and just always focus on the good. I'm so grateful for y'all. Do y'all know how much y'all mean to me? So listen, real quick. Tell me in the comments three things that you are grateful for right now. And also, um, I know some of you out there, y'all may journal your gratitude. So how do you do it? Do you write it, you know, pen and paper? Do you type it in your phone? So just let me know, you know, how do you, um, how do you journal or record your gratitude? So um, once again, today will be amazing. Every day will be amazing. I am so grateful for you. I'm grateful that I can uh, move my body. So I'm about to head downstairs and work out. Y'all, come on. Let's go, y'all. Let's go ahead and get it in. This workout for day 1178. Y'all, baby, coming through with this outfit of the day and the dance of the day. So I started out the workout doing my jump ropes about 15 minutes just to warm up. So a lot of y'all have been asking. The jump ropes are linked in my description box in my Amazon storefront. Y'all know I don't have time to be tripping over the cords. So then I got on the elliptical and I did our usual hour. And our positive affirmation for today, I am good enough and worthy. 
and we finished off this morning's workout with 50 kettlebell squats. You know, girl, we trying to keep it right and tight. I just got done with my workout and as y'all can see, it was a really good workout. So I did my usual hour, y'all already know that. So um, I ended with 10,218 steps. So your girl already starting off today halfway um, to her goal. So um, yeah, I just spent the time, I was watching YouTube this morning, I was watching um, like mom life content. You know, those videos where, um, you know, they doing like Walmart hauls and um, cleaning and, you know, just kid stuff, getting them off to school, cooking. So that's what I was watching um, today. I always find those really interesting just to see how other people are living their lives, you know, um, like how other busy moms are doing it because Lord knows I get asked that question all the time. Like, girl, how do you get it all done? And I don't know. I guess I just do. I just have um, found this routine, gotten into this routine routine, and I've just, you know, stuck with it over the years. So anyway, um, I just came in. Y'all, I'm in my husband's man cave right now, but um, I'm going to go upstairs. Y'all already know I'm going to go ahead, start on my water, and um, then it'll be time to get Braylon up, get him um, situated so he can get dressed, and then we'll be out the door to school and to work. All right, I'll be talking to y'all soon. Hey y'all, okay, so it is time to check in. So it is 1228 and we just got done um, for the morning. So let me go ahead and say this morning has been um, slow compared to uh, yesterday. Cause remember I told y'all the kids were out of school yesterday and your girl was in here working like super duper hard. So today has been more of a slow to steady day. I've definitely had um, times when I can just come in here and um, chill out in the office. Well, not really chill out because I've been in here um, editing and you know, doing all the things because you know, we are a whole YouTuber over here and these daily vlogs, girl, okay um definitely a challenge but but we're doing it though we're doing it so um anyway yeah a much um lighter day today so no complaints at all i've been sitting here drinking my water oh yeah this thing is almost empty so y'all remember yesterday um i was having to play catch up you know at the end of the day but i'm just about done with my um first 40 ounces so i'll just have 40 more to go and my steps are looking good as well because Y'all, I've just been sitting in here, um, getting steps in, walking in place. Y'all know how I do, um, watching YouTube, doing all the things, okay? Because, you know, just kind of responding to comments on the video that just posted. So, just like I said, just a pretty, pretty chill morning. So, um, no really, um, well, I do have a couple of interesting stories to tell y'all. Y'all already know I always have a good story, but nothing like yesterday. So, um, yeah, I had... My, my story for today is I had um, a set of triplets come in to see me. And when I tell y'all, mama had them dressed so cute. Oh my gosh, they had on um, dresses. They weren't matching dresses, but each one of them had on dresses. And let me tell you, one of them just kept on giving me hugs. Now, when mama comes in, she requests, you know me. And that always just touches me so much when parents like, only want to see me so um just like i said one was just like just all like giving me hugs and stuff just like the cutest thing and girl i oftentimes wonder like how does she do it okay so to all the mamas out there and let me say this because we all out here doing the best we can okay um even if you you know are not a mom but when I tell you, I just cannot imagine like being a parent of multiples because let me tell y'all something. Braylon gives me um, everything I ever needed and wanted, okay? Because he is a handful all by himself, okay? I love my baby, but let me tell you, 
I told y'all yesterday, boys to me, and this is all I know, are a handful. So I always just wonder like, what would it be like? Like if you are nursing or, you know, bottle feeding and of course, whatever you choose, but I nurse Braylon. So I'm thinking, you know, would I have nursed like if I was a parent of twins or triplets, like nursing them and all those diapers. And it, it just seems like, girl, Listen, kudos to all the mamas, but especially the mamas of multiples out there. So, um, before they left, uh, the hygienist that cleaned their teeth was asking, um, I guess because the dresses were like really cute. So she was asking like, mom, you know, are they going to dress up for Halloween? You know, what are their costumes going to be? And mom was like, yeah, of course, you know, we dress them up. Actually, they um, are going to attend like several events, you know, for Halloween. So she was telling us like they're going to be um, Elsa and Anna from Frozen. And she was saying they have something that they're going to be like 101 Dalmatians. And I can't, I can't remember. I think she was I think she said superheroes so they're attending like three different um events where they have to dress up so I told her of course to take plenty of pictures but after hearing her say that I was reminded of you know um of Braylon and him dressing up so his dad has always been big on um dressing him up from halloween for halloween so every year you know he's been in costume and we'll usually just attend like um whatever they have going on at the school or um the community center or a uh, church you know like little trunk or treat you know type things so um when he was three years old though he yeah i know he Brandon's birthday is in october i mean excuse me his birthday is in december so he was three almost four so y'all know the show um martin martin the sitcom um back in the 90s so it was this um this character on there i'm calling it character but it was this um this guy said the character on there um the personality his name was otis and he's this security guard right when i tell you um braylon's dad dressed him up as Otis the security guard. Now, of course, Braylon had no clue of who this was, but um, I, he did a good job. So I did like a side-by-side -side picture of like the real, you know, Otis and then of course Braylon. So I posted it to um, social media. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm gonna say my baby um, went viral. It was viral to us. When I tell y'all, he was getting hundreds and thousands of like likes and shares and comments. And um, the post like went just like crazy, okay? So um, anyway, we had uh, a couple of celebrities reach out to us and um, yeah, y'all, it turned into a whole thing, okay? And just like I said, Braylon was three years old. He has no clue. I will sometimes um, even now show him uh, that picture and all he's just like, it's like, mama, yeah, I was dressed up like a policeman. He has no clue, you know, so that was Braylon's little, um, you know, five seconds of fame, you know, five minutes of fame. Y'all, I know we'll be talking about this like, um, you know, as an adult. So anyway, that's been my morning um, so far. Oh, yeah. And then I did mention while we're talking about costumes. So um, here at our office in the morning meeting, we've been talking about for the past couple of weeks, like what we're going to do as an office. So, um, yeah, the idea that they came up with is Toy Story. Now, listen, y'all, I'm going to be honest. I have never even seen the movie Toy Story. So I have no clue on uh, the little toys, the characters, none of that kind of stuff. So if y'all will... If y'all have an idea for me on what Dr. Erica needs to, you know, dress up as. So, uh, it's for the company pictures. So, you know, I'm going to, you know, be a team player, play along. So, in the comments, let me know any ideas that you think. Um, it got to be something easy. Now, y'all know how I do. I like to be simple. So, something easy, um, an easy costume, Toy Story is the thing. All right. Well, listen, I really appreciate y'all uh, keeping me company. Um, it's so nice to have somebody to talk to because usually like before you know um youtube and content creation i would just be sitting here you know watching uh youtube and just you know kind of relaxing so anyway i hope y'all are having the most amazing day so far of course i'll just see y'all a little later
So here's my one meal for today, y'all. Meal prepping at its finest. So it's the same exact thing that I had yesterday. My green beans, brown rice, impossible meat, my apple pie oats, and bananas. So it is 6.30. It is time for me to tear into this food. And here are my steps for the end of the day. I have had the most amazing day from doing the things I enjoy to eating the foods that I love. Go ahead, y'all know how we do. In the comments, tell me one thing that has made your day amazing. Show your girls some love. Click the like button and also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.